Hey everyone, it is Tim here. This is Urban Dunia and I am coming to you again from Lahore. This is Lahore Explorer and this week I'm coming to you from Gulberg, which is Lahore's center of fashion and fine dining. And I am joined by my friends Ali, Sabiha and Fissa and we are all about to go out for brunch together. Let's go. The previous videos in this series have all been based around the rustic walled city or the traditional or colonial era areas just outside the walled city. But today we're uncovering a more modern side of Lahore, Gulberg. What better way to start a day than a brunch of North African style shakshuka, crepes, French toast, cafe lattes and smoothies. Lahore doesn't exactly run on espresso, it's more of a chai kind of city, but you'll have no trouble finding good coffee around here, or even bubble tea if that's your thing. Gulberg was originally planned in the 1950s, developed rapidly through the 1960s and 70s, and is now one of Lahore's most exclusive neighborhoods. It's bisected by Main Boulevard, a highway-like thoroughfare where you'll find cinemas, fashion boutiques, bookshops, and Gulberg Galleria, where we stopped for a spot of homewares shopping. Away from Main Boulevard, Gulberg is a leafy, quiet suburb. Amid the shaded laneways is the Mia Mia Shrine, the final resting place of an important Sufi saint who is the third of Lahore's guiding lights that we are visiting in this series. Every Thursday night around sunset time there is a traditional performance of Qawali, the devotional music that is so interwoven in Pakistan's cultural fabric. Back to the center of Gulberg now, and we begin our way down M.M. Alam Road. In a suburb known for high-end shopping, M.M. Alam Road is ground zero. At the northern end stands Mini Market, where you'll find boutiques of all sizes selling the latest trends, at a considerable price too. Local designer wear and international brands, through to streetwear, affordable shoes and children's gear, it's all here. There's no shortage of places to eat around here either, from American chain restaurants serving pan-Asian flavors, to local businesses turning out reliable Italian staples, and even posh spins on classics like chai khana, which translates to the tea house. If you're looking for somewhere unique to eat, try Salt and Pepper Village, which is a buffet designed in the style of a traditional village. Diners move between mock street stalls, picking up Pakistani street and village style food in comfortable and clean surroundings. A lot of these are covered in my book, Pakistan Traveler, the world's most comprehensive travel guidebook to Pakistan. It's available as a paperback or as an ebook, and you can get your copy today by following the link in the video description below. The back streets around M.M. Alam Road hide some lovely galleries too. Stop by here if you're interested in picking up some local art. You'll find traditional and contemporary, painted and sculpture. Ghalib Market, just off Emma Malam Road, is also home to Lahore's best gulab jamun, served hot and in syrup, at an old canteen-style eatery. And if you thought that all of these boutiques and galleries are a little bit high-end, you'd be right. So let's bring it back to ground level at Liberty Market. We're in Liberty Market, Lahore. It's in Gulberg, and it's one of the oldest markets in New Lahore. And it's sort of, I think, like, it has traditional stuff and modern stuff here as well, but not necessarily like labels, so to speak, is that right? So it has malls, like Enam Mall and, you know, Selene fabrics, but also, you know, very affordable kind of stuff as well. Even, you know, uh, the street wear kind of stuff as well. So it's sort of like a real mixture, yeah. yeah. This is where you'll find the essence of old Lahore. Market stalls, wholesale fabrics on the bolt, haggling over prices, but in more comfortable surroundings. Alternatively, you could look at it as the more pocket-friendly version of the boutiques on M.M. Alam Road, but without the chaos of the old city or Anarkali. It's lovely. Yes, yeah. yes it's perfect. The assistant at the counter back there was actually just telling me that in Salim Fabrics here, I would be able to find a full suit, like a shellac suit, 
from either 2,000 rupees, which is about 10 Australian dollars, maybe a bit less American dollars, right through to 80,000 rupees, which is about 400 Australian dollars. Again, maybe about 350 American. So they have like the full range of fabrics right through from budget, right through to luxury linen. So these are like basically the um, like Patan Wala style um, chadar. So these are the types of shawls that um, generally people wear in winter in Pakistan, particularly men wear in winter in Pakistan and sort of up in the mountains where it's colder earlier and later. Um, I've got one myself actually. It's really nice. Yeah. I can tell you that I bought mine for a lot less than that when I was in Napier Gali, but then I don't know. Yeah, I don't know that it was necessarily the same quality of fabric because I got mine from a vendor on the street. There is a chance that the quality of that is good too, but just one for sure. This is remarkable actually. <laughs> Liberty Market is also home to my favorite bookstore in Lahore, Liberty Books. Do you like it? I love it. What's this? Of course, it wouldn't be Lahore if there wasn't food. New Tikka Corner is a great spot for barbecued and grilled items, while Capri does a great traditional breakfast of halwa puri, and Bandukhan is a reliable full menu Pakistani restaurant. Liberty Market is excellent for souvenir shopping too. And there is fake stuff if that's what you're after. Oh, you know, this is like a traditional dupatta for Mayu, like which is like a festival kind of thing, an event before Shadi. Okay. And people usually, you know, buy such chunri dupattas. Kiski shayari is pe? Pata hai? Is pe? Zada sir, to hamari the dupatta chal lega na. Uske upar tazib aati ki bhi hai aur mirza galib ki bhi hai aur uske alawa jaise jo hamare sir ke bade shayari the. Ye to mujhe aisa lagta hai. Chal dilati bedai ki bhi time bahut hai. Bahut hai. This is like uh, prosaic poetry. I don't know. Maybe prosaic lagti hai. Nasri nazm. The back streets at Liberty Market are great too. Local vendors set up their stalls street side and you can find some real gems here. We were starting to get peckish, so we stopped for sweet potato. But there are lots of options from chaat to boiled sweet corn and fries to fresh fruit juices. Down the road and on Mia Mehmood Ali Kasuri Road is Xinhua Mall, where you'll find more international brands. And opposite that, Essagis, which is a small but excellent international supermarket. You can find chocolates from the UK, syrups and mustards from France, cake mix and Tabasco from the US, noodles from Indonesia, espresso and parmesan from Italy, and manuka honey from New Zealand. Also on Kasuri Road is Alfata, one of Lahore's largest supermarkets and department stores. So Gulberg is the part of Lahore where you can get pretty much any type of cuisine that you want and it is dinner time, so... So we are going for Japanese cuisine at, here at Wasabi. Wasabi, yeah. there we are. Um, they do really, really good sushi here apparently. Have you guys tried sushi before? No, I'll be trying it for the first time. So I have is... actually, but not from Wasabi, so... Ali? I have. The sushi was delicious, but if that's not your style, don't worry. You can also find Lebanese, cafe-style burgers, Italian, Thai, and everything in between. A lot of this is at Mall 1, a small but packed mall with a courtyard back towards Main Boulevard. And Monal, a Pakistani restaurant with a mountaintop location in Islamabad, has opened in Lahore. 
In the absence of any mountains, they occupy a rooftop with views over all of Gulberg. If you're still out late night or for pre-dawn breakfast cravings, Karachi Silver Spoon is open all night and serves up hot paratas with potato, cheese and chicken. On the other side of Main Boulevard is Main Market, which is where we're headed after dinner. So now it's time for dessert and instead of sort of keeping with our upmarket theme, we're actually going to go for something a bit different and this is a homegrown Goldberg success story. Um, Alamgir Waffles is basically, or Waffles by Alamgir I should call it, is um, basically a story of a man who had an ice cream machine and he used to sell his ice creams roadside in waffle cones. There was such a hit that he ended up actually building this place and it almost turned into an empire by itself. And then, although we couldn't fit anything else in, kahwa, a Patan style of mild green tea, is the perfect way to finish off this evening. So this chai shop, or kahwa, as we've got in our hands, is one of sort of the hidden gems that are here in Gulberg. A lot of people, even locally, don't even know that this is here. And I've included it in my new ebook series, Lahore Explorer. It's actually not just a series, it's a complete ebook. It's an accompaniment to my book, Pakistan Traveler. And it's also a companion to this uh, vlog series that I've created. There are 10 different vlogs, and in the book series, there are 10 different chapters. One for each different neighborhood of Lahore, which I have visited. You can download them chapter by chapter or all together as one complete ebook. And you can download them by clicking the link in the video description below. Near Main Market is also a mall full of Patan shawl vendors, which in theory should be cheaper than Liberty Market, but unless you speak Urdu, or better yet Pashto, probably isn't. And the Hafiz Center, a giant mall full of new and second-hand electronics. Well, it has been an awesome afternoon in Goldberg and thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have and thanks so much to my friends Ali, Fisa and Sabiha for coming. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And uh, we will be back next week with the final episode of Lahore Explorer. Thanks so much for watching. Explore Pakistan and Lahore like a local with my books. Pakistan Traveler is the world's most comprehensive travel guidebook for Pakistan. And Lahore Explorer is the world's most comprehensive travel guidebook for Lahore. Pakistan Traveler comes as an ebook or paperback. And Lahore Explorer comes as an ebook. But you can get it in separate chapters or all together in one ebook. Get your copies today by clicking the link in the video description below. And that's not all, there is so much more to discover. Check out some of my other vlogs. And if you like, what you see, make sure that you like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you can be part of my dunya.